Hello everybody, welcome to the stream and today we're going to be carrying on with Tales of Berseria. So before we start, I just want to say thank you so much, cutie buddy, for, um, what do you call it, oh, <laughs> redesigning my avatar. Got a brand new hairstyle now and she is looking fabulous, very, very glam. So this is going to be my new avatar. Um, well, new updated version of my avatar on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube now. So thank you very much, cutie. There you go. So, after we did that boss, we're off to check the expedition first, actually. Go. Take a look at this. Because I just... Remember if I've been to this area. Quitting is the same as defeat. Oh. Oh, thanks, Eleanor. Right, so I'm still into this area. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you got to carry on. Set. Right. Still need to carry on with that area. Oh, I'm just trying to think. Let me see. So I think I need to go all the way back. Oh God, why can't I just bloody teleport? Oh, really? Oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> oh, alright. Nope. Even though I am strong enough? No. Nope. I thought I smelled someone. Just to make sure if, um, can everyone... Else about it, Roboro? Nope, can't say I Sorry, do. I think the game All went off for a second. Swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed mm. them past their limits and... Kablooey. Suffice it to say, Kablooey is both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. Not did I really care. Oh, wait. For some um, reason it went to my keyboard said? controls then. I don't know why. Oh, it? yeah. I was checking the volume. The <laughs> On Streamlabs. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Sophistication. <laughs> I thought his type was more like Vel. Uh, shh. What's Ooh, going on? Oh, secret. We're discussing a delicate blood. topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Eisen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Mm. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Was it sure naughty on, or naughty like, she was saying? It was leave, a bit hard to tell. Go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's mm. not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is a daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. I don't even know where this conversation was going. I, I wasn't sure what was happening. Aside. And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. 
But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. But they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else. Are we actually Is watching an anime right now for what that? It's like they're watching an anime or something case, like that. Like, beware of girls, Luffy said. I don't know. It's <laughs> all topsy turvy. Right. Oh, I went the wrong bit. Alright, well, if I come across any more chests, I'll see if I can find them. Oh. It was right on my ass! I know, I am trying to find as many of these as I can. Because, yeah, I came across quite a few cats. So, if I ever see any more souls, I'm actually going to try and gather as much as I can. I am really, really, um, seriously low. <laughs> Only if they come through a distance of me, like they're really close to me. Like that. Let's see, there's some over there. Right now I'm hoping to see if I can get to 300. It's going to be a while for me to get to 300. Let's see. Right, I'll follow this trail. See, the sound of that pink witch making, that definitely sounds like a Pokemon. I don't know which one, but like a, f either a f like a fairy type, I think. See? Alright. That was a bit pointless to save, but still. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. I'm actually close. I'll have that. Oh, I went past it. <laughs> there we go. No. Oh. oh, there was somebody. I just noticed to see one this close to the sea. <laughs> These three frogs top on each other. <laughs> a frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. What was that? Just a little poem that popped into my head. What about my frogs? inspiration came from pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly leapt into the salty ocean. That, She's got a tiny frog, a medium frog, and a really, really big frog. Skinny little frog. That is a, that is a pretty big looking frog, though. I can see that for a toad, but not for a frog. I guess that one is about rooting for a frog. That's right. I once bet a fortune on a game of chance involving frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? Poetic, isn't it? No, it's not Magilu. Shut up. Problem. So I don't think that's the only problem Magilu has. <laughs> nope. I lost my entire bet. Of course you have, Magilu. You always justice. lose your money. Always losing your money, Margulu. Don't know how you do it. You're just bad at making bets. Let's see. This big storm came and swept me out to a class four island. And let oh. me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. Oh, that does not sound pleasant. Out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had oh. those jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Oh, that is not pleasant. 
Yeah, that's what I thought too. But these weren't no. I do wonder what happens. Scary. Um, I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? When you put stay the hell away. Well, from I'm not sure by putting together. a slug in water, uh, salt, go, salt water like the ocean, or you stuff. pour a bit of salt water over a slug. For? Like I what will happen that. to it? <laughs> It's a classification the Abbey uses to If it's just like regular shelter. salt, I bet An if this is, it, it, well it would just dry out just like that. In an area. I did use to fall that when you put salt over slugs or snails. I thought they'd bubble up so like a potion and die, but no, what I heard is apparently it just dries, they dry out. In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough power to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that It's weird, I was talking about slugs island. and snails there, and I don't even know where the conversation was <laughs> going on. <laughs> to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could the conversation was up to. <laughs> so you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people. Oh, to I don't stay know clear. what the next objective is. Frankly, we just have to get back I think to the, the ship. Just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Oh, why does Magilu look so evil? Zones? I've heard of ten such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey. But I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's mm. probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, yeah. we're gonna wanna be prepared. Oh, what the hell is this? You can now go to a class 4 administrative zone. What the, what the heck does that mean? Is, is that something that, that pops up? I'm having a lot. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> it was a shot. Yeah, I've still not come across the ape or the viper. Oh, I have come across a viper, but I was too weak. I do need to go back to those. Wow, I was talking to this guy. Demons! There's more of them. A whole band of them. Hello, I'm a demon. I can kill you on this spot. <laughs> and now we have more, and they're still on the loose. A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but what do these dead? demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a oh. demon comes around, it's all show us your cargo. This oh, that's and not don't good. For a while, that. They don't How are we show up. To catch any fish? These demons really are a fish and mods. Would that help you catch some fish? I'd lay down some justice, I tell you. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. Yay. First right. mate, you're all right. Sorry to worry you. And the captain? Oh. It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Yeah. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. Magilu, shut up. Don't Calm talk down. to her. <laughs> I'll explain later. Screw her. Just forget Eisen? her. Y you stay calm too, okay? And you've all taken your salatoma? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, the uh, ugly and flowers. Died. All still kicking. Yay! Your curse, sir. The sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready all to right. sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? Yeah. There's worse out there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's true that. Yeah, <laughs> I think Magilu did have a point because of um. 
I forgot. Um, Eleanor. Yeah. So. Wait. Oh, southern port city of Yasult again. Oh! That's new. So that's the class 4. Dangerous region quarantined by the abbey. Those who dare to enter are warm. Beware of slime and sludge. So I think we have to go there. That's my guess. It's weird how I said again, but it's a question mark. I've not been there before, so why do you say again? It's too bad that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too, and her face went all... Wah! I don't mean how um. she looked. <laughs> I mean how she actually feels. Oh, well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. <laughs> I like that. She looked. Her, she looked. Bleh. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So velvets ripen? Mogulu, quit giving Lothi that confusing thoughts. I've just had myself a very warm drink. It's getting so much colder now. I'm like, oh, I just need a, a sip of a nice hot drink just to warm myself up. Oof. I can't believe how much colder it's gone now, everybody. It's just weird. It was not that long ago when I was streaming. It was so, so warm. And now it's bloody cold. Everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do. It ought to be rooted in that mission. Oh, yet, I wonder if Eleanor is questioning about right their methods now. The Abbey's you methods. That knowledge is not for you. And who? Something wrong? Uh. Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. Just asking a question, Sorry. that's all. I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah, just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, oh, why is I throwing you overboard? Juice. Ah, tasted like crap, didn't it? It, it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. Well, oh, thanks. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And uh, everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... <sighs> all I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. Oh, I thought it was a compass. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. Bye. Hmm. Oh, oh, definitely. My old injuries are aching. Oh, really? Oh, sorry to hear that, Sig. Alright, so where are we now? What is that? Is that some kind of penguin? Pinyon, oh. A type of bird native to this area. It looks like pot fish, pot penguin. Penguin. Well. Their meat is succulent and tender. And makes a lovely stew. Oh, wow. now you're talking about What's eating it? <laughs> okay. You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. He's a velvet. <laughs> to talk, demon. <laughs> it was uh, don't worry, it happens days. every year when it gets cold. All right, uh. enough of the chit chat. Magilu, 
What's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm. Well, how do I put it? <sighs> yeah, oh. don't worry about it. Um, you're not the yeah, only one, Sig. Like that. Um. Like what? Because my fingers get quite sore when it gets cold. Well, to put it in a way so I know how you feel. Can understand. Grim's got a sort of listless, it's something we both have to get through, don't we, when it's through the cold times, say. isn't it? Huh. So you mean, like a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. But the thing is, with, um, as well, uh, through the hot <laughs> weather, there. if it's really hot, what, again, it's uh, my fingers get sore. So... I need to find the right balance of the weather where my um, my skin is fine, but <laughs> it's very rare when that happens. I think the only times is between March and May. Oh, definitely, Bex. Yeah. What's up, kiddo? We'll both get through it together. Through this cold weather together. have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, my Although I think my skin gets worse when it is definitely cold or whatever. It's not too bad when it's hot. As soon as I put a bit of like hand cream on my fingers, it definitely helps during the old, um, Let's question townsfolk. warm weather. But I think it's because it's cold cream and it helps with the heat. But if it's cold weather and I put cold cream on my hands, it really doesn't help. It's weird. It doesn't help as much. It's quite annoying that. It's like I have to heat up the moisturising cream. <laughs> I don't think you can do that, but still. <laughs> hmm, this makes me think of Sea of Thieves as kind of poor. That's good then, Bex. Yeah. Do you have Do you have anything that helps your injuries? Some kind of like um, aching pad or... Um, Anything like that. Something to ease off the pain. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm guessing it's this way. Oh, I'm a little bit sniffly as well, guys. I hated it how the weather just drops like that on you. <laughs> now, now I'm kind of wanting this. This is gorgeous. Wait a minute. Have I actually... F nope, just got to grit and bear it. Ah. Oh. Nope. Still, sorry to hear that, Sig. Is that sushi? No, it's not. It's just very, very flat fish. Is this the beach? I think this is the beach. I remember, um, mm, uh, Bunny has uh, told me about how the characters go to a beach. I want to go up there. I want to go up there. Yep, it is. Oh, as in the beach. Yeah. Oh my... Right, it's not that way. It's just that there's an opening there where I could get those bloody things. Might be another way. Never mind. Um... So ask about... Ask around about Grimsworth. Well, I think one thing to... D oh, wait a minute. What? There's a question mark there. Let's see what's this. Yeah, I thought so. It's a church. Oh my god, you look like the evil priest. Are you his trim brother? <laughs> to your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Um, Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this 
last chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! <laughs> There's no one else I want but you! What? Me? <laughs> Margulo! <laughs> Go after the priest! In service to the Empyreans, I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you. Hold me, darling. Smother me in your embrace. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I, I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted she so many hours you. with that piece of trash. Please forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah, lying to a priest. How could you? Well, this oh, is my no. I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin. Forgive me, Father. I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you. But you have to. <laughs> but that's what Margulu would have said. But you have to, Priestess. I have confessed to you. <laughs> oh, no, I think it made him feel very, very... You. Oh, come, sinner. Who? Me? Oh, you can. I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. It's no, my son. You must be mistaken, for I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. Is this for all of them, or is it just certain ones? You, yet. you must confess your sins and repent. <sighs> yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. <laughs> you wielded violence? No. All I no. wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next I've time, hit people, I'll but I've not killed them no, yet. That's no, <laughs> the way he says wrong. it. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. <laughs> ah, and what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust you. Oh, is that you're not making Get any sense, together, priest? Uh, yes. I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? <laughs> well, that was a funny conversation. It's one of those things in um, games where it's not canon, but it's hilarious. We'll go this Oh, it's not this way. I think it is this far. Have another good look around the beach. Oh, bloody hell! I did... <laughs> I knew Buddy talked about how big the beach was. She wasn't kidding! This is huge! Oh my god! Just trying to find a good look around. Bloody hell. I'm loving this. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's up to Still this Still no leads on that grimoire lady. No. Mogulu, when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? Was it like three months ago? Hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year? A decade ago? A decade? Take seriously, or I'll feed you to the sharks. <laughs> yeah, we got oh, man eater. We got. Oh no, I forgot in. the name. Keep this up, and I swear I'll eat. Oh no, it's I've them. actually forgot the. Oh, Sam, I forgot the name of my um the, the shark in um. <laughs> Once you've assumed your new man eater, what did I name my shark? <laughs> Thank you, sister. God damn it! <laughs> but to be honest. I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. Fear not. Just be mm. yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. I'll try to make you proud, sister. I have to look back and see what was the name I uh, called um, the shark and man eater. <laughs> Is that the name of a facility on this island? I had better get going. Oh, safe travels. Oh, 
One more thing. Be careful around the demon and Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. I do one. I do wonder when I'm gonna battle them. Should be quite good. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Oh. Sister. <laughs> I know, I know. I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. What, he has to drink boiling water? Won't so that burn your tongue? Sounds like it's a pretty feisty one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do. <sighs> Margulu's face going, yeah, but I'm have you at you. Any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. I can't even see. And so <laughs> you may wish we were sympathetic. Uh. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Huh? What the hell was no, that? I don't. I, I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? Oh. You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes, that I did. Right. Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, and one less traitor for them to worry about. Yep. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire. Yes, yeah, so we best hurry up. It's true. Let's find some more people to question around town. Just notice what you said, Sig, before the yep, it is. It's fine, don't worry about it. I think. I can't remember I can't remember if I saw that message. <laughs> I apologize. So what's it really like? Huh? I was just the looking at the messages and I thought, did I read that one or did I skip it? <laughs> thoughts and feelings? No problem. Um, <laughs> read that of. one. <laughs> when I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, all right? I Where know. did that just come from? Boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew. What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes, mm. but it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever oh, get look. out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. <laughs> when she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is softer, you could say. She lets her hair down too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Aww, oh, he's so sweet. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her, but. But? But. Watch out for the older girls. Huh? Huh? I'm. Oh, older sister, younger Teresa brother. Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate. But I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me. But I found that adorable, too. <laughs> he did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, 
or try to talk like he was in charge. After a while, <sighs> he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies uh, are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he <laughs> he double <too>? too. <laughs> I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. I know that that's all velvet but man. But Shinrei seemed like he was having fun. Um, Sometimes um, things just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. <laughs> huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually, when I'm talking with Lavi Set, sometimes I think this is what having a brother must feel like. I think Lavi Set is more like. But, oh, Don't velvet. Take any of this nonsense <laughs> more like velvet spuffer. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. I think Velvet's really thinking, no, he's mine! He's my little brother! <laughs> I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh. Ooh. Two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Aim teeny <laughs> candlestick. Which one will the Muppet pick? Oh. How about an older brother instead? <laughs> Good idea. Oh, expedition. Take a look at this. Nice. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. Oh, shake, wow. lol. <laughs> yeah. <found> <laughs> Uh, that was quite funny, that. Yeah. Oh, next one. Scout ships. Scout ships ahoy, I know. The shop. Might as well go to the shop first. See if there's anything to sell again. There you go. Oh no, it's because he's holding it. I nearly pressed yes to that one, the one where he had no experience yet. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. That's not much. Oh, it sucks so much, that, because that's on sale. You know what? Because it's on sale, I think I can afford that. I'll come back to that shop later. Hey, this doll? It looks like the end food. Oh, it does! Ah, a keen eye you have, young man. That is a doll of the Empyrean Amenoch. That's... Empyrean Amenoch? Yep, no doubt about it. I've seen her with my own eyes. Real dignified, but not without a bit of a temper. You saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbey's banned because she is pissed. of the Amenochian faith in Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. 
I tried talking to her, but no matter what no. I said, she was just like... <laughs> What is this size? Like? And that low energy goddess you saw? The doll you've got here looks like her? Yeah, more or less. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Grimoire isn't human? When oh. did I ever say she was? Oh yeah, so, Magalu does have a point. She never said uh, Grim was, was, was human. Beach. Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, to the beach! Yay, we're going yeah. to the beach! We are finally going to Why the beach. Why didn't you mention Grimoire as a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, and a muscle. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this place. Oh, some more down here. <clears throat> yes. Oh, wow. Um, at Mackerel Beach. Right, I'm assuming... Um I, I kinda went into a circle but never mind. We'll go up this way. I think this might be it. There's the beach! Beautiful waters. So this is Muckler Beach. I hope she's actually here. Me too. But I'm just glad to be at the beach. I've been wanting to come here for ages. Right. One thing I know is I do need to start fighting more. Didn't check what they are. Sand moles. I need to get more money. No, you don't. Leave Lappy set alone. Didn't even do anything at that point. You too. <laughs> so there's two chests around here. I want to make sure that... To try and get as much money as I can. Oh, it's the axe beaks again. Oh. Right. Don't get overcome. Dump us. Devour. Tiger, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, how are you doing, Tiger? You know, I just realised. I wonder what level these things are. You'll be rust on my blade. Peacock. Oh, it's level 28. So. Thanks for that level up. I'm pretty good. Whoa! But it's a big hole like that. Get back here, get back here. Oh my god, I've actually just hurt my thumb. I don't know, that was my kill. I hope 
hope I did a good job. You did fine. Can't even call that a fight. You'll be rust on my board. Oh, I never got a Yeah. Oh, that's good, there, Tiger. He had a really nice sleep. Oh, but I'm just close. I won't miss. Oh, I thought that was the end. Well, that was easy. I still need a lot of training. Is training hard? It's necessary, so no, I don't think so. Good vote. Classic honor all student. <laughs> All right. All right, now, I know I'm grinding a little bit. Oh, how was your game? Well, actually, yeah. Um, um, so, it's going pretty well, and I did use one of the items I got from the adventure pack. Um, I used a level up one by five. Because uh, I felt like I was struggling a little bit, and... Kind of, but I was, there was not really much I could really buy, so done that. <laughs> and I've got a lot more items now. And because of that, I've got no money. So what I'm doing is, besides, it feels like I'm slightly leveling up, but at the same time, I'm trying to get a bit more money from the enemies because I don't think I did enough of that from the last area. I'm, ready for this. I'm gonna try and save up a little bit more money. Because I think most of my characters have mastered a lot of stuff right now. Right now, I am very curious of where the plot is going. Um, like with Eleanor, I am really curious of what's gonna happen. Like. Is Lafayette going to get like quite upset? Um, and the others? Well, right now, they, I think it's Velvet and Eisen who already know something's up with Eleanor. And, yeah, I, mean, I am kind of curious about what's going to happen. Like, does she change her opinions? Oh, sick. I'm not telling you. <laughs> I know you're not Sig. <gasps> oh! Don't worry, I know you're not telling me. I love how you did the, um, sticking your tongue out. <laughs> I'm assuming it's going to be good. I love the drama in the Tales of series. <laughs> oh, it's your wolf. See, I said it that time. I said wolf. I was being honest with that. There you go. Oh, with a crown at the end as well. Yay, leveled up. Oh, and a cat. Always ready to fight. Right now, um, I think one of the things I bought from. Oh. What is it? Um, the outfits, the low accessories. Apparently, I have to unlock it in the game. It is a rapid doll that you can put on one of your characters. I think it's rapid on the skateboard. Um, 
And I think it was Hunnop that said you unlock it. I'm assuming that's in the cats. Um, so I'm going to... That's why I'm really trying to go through all the cats' chests. That way I can get the repeat doll. Oh, Siggy said, yeah, so... That is correct. Right, it is through the cats. It's weird that you... I got it, but at the same time I don't have it. It's weird that, compared to the other things of, um, I got through the outfit packs. So I still have to unlock it, but it's knowing if I have enough um, spirits. Oh yeah, Laffy sets battle abilities, break soul, static force. Ah, oh, right. Plan for end status ailments on enemies from ending. Increases enemy stagger time and slows the speed. Yeah, Laffy Set is definitely the supporter. There might be a, a Bayou doll as well as a Chigel. Oh, is there? Ah, right, so there is still quite a few things. No! I still need more! Right, we're gonna have to get some more souls. Not that far off. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> it's weird in the beginning. I kept on saying how I'm letting her come to me. I'm letting her come to me. On my <laughs> um, in the beginning, you didn't come across that many cat's chests. Now, I'm getting tons in front of me, but I do not have enough spirit. I really think I might have to, like, off stream, go back to places and just try and get as many spirits as I can. I was going to do that. Oh, nice. Eisen's leveled up. Me, um... Right, so my money's gone now to 3,000, which is good. What I do need to do now, though, is... Oh, BRB a sec. No problem, Sig. See if I can go down here and get some more souls. This oh, no mind. <laughs> searching for Can't see. Look like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Malik just the same as Laffy said or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything. In that case, I think. You're right. What's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that. Oh, what's so in the hat? we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! <laughs> That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! It's all cans with uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are. Oh, uh. our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then mm. I will tell you. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. That's it, Norman. To other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think All of them right. as a convenient power-up. Ah, also good way to put it. Common spirits. Don't even say that. We Norman hate being called that. <laughs> Why is it so painful for you? 
Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable. That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different. That yeah. Explain your you tell them, BMFU. Don't sweat it. <laughs> That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Oh. <sighs> Right, the more items I find, the better stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh! What's up this ladder? Well, no, vines! Oh, goody, 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 goody! Right. I was unexpected. What are those uh, pinyons doing? Probably keeping their eggs warm. Most likely. All right. They look like a mama and a papa. Pinyons are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But how do they make the eggs? Uh. <laughs> That's... well... So, Luffy said, here's an interesting fact. A single <laughs> penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs. Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish Sea urchins? Birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. <laughs> While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs I and some rich um, thigh meat. I'm curious of what it means by the word delicacy. Does it, I originally thought mean. it means rare, but I, I don't think that's what it, it means okay? when it says a food Those is a delicacy. Tasty, but I think I'll pass. I think it's something to do with... Um, it's the... the like the favorite of the area or something like that's the favorite food i don't know what it means oh that's a coconut i that was one word i keep getting puzzled when i watch a lot of food cooking shows it says it's it's quite the delicacy i do need to research what that word means well I don't have a dictionary, so <laughs> definitely research it on the internet. Think of which, uh, would these guys make me think of the dodo? I can't remember if I saw one in a museum, like if it was a uh, taxidermy. I don't think it was. I think they made a model out of it. But I think they used... I can't remember what they did. Oh, I knew it was something else. It, the, the dodo, from what I've seen, where they were trying to do a tax, um, not a, a model one. It was trying to make it as accurate as it was as the real bird. I got the lot of it. They were actually quite big. Dodos were actually quite big looking birds. Not as big as an ostrich. They looked like they were as big as a... I actually don't know what's a big bird besides ostriches and emus. But it was, they are definitely, um, uh, chung? Mm. I'll end this quickly. Probably not uh, a bird, let's see. They were about the same size. I would say maybe like a warthog in a way. Oh, I'm back. I can put bins out. No problem, Sig. Right. Friday tomorrow, so I can understand that. <laughs> ah. Just 
always been talking about um, like these peacocks, how I've seen a dodo in a um, museum. Um, Victory is ours. Not a real one. <laughs> a model. They made a model to make it ex uh, how uh, a dodo would have looked like if it was here to this day. And they were quite big birds. Probably like the third biggest out of a ostrich and a emu. I was just thinking how... Um, it was like really lifelike, the model they made, so because of that. I don't know what I just hit. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know why these things are called sand moles. They look nothing like a mole. What the hell? Are... I'm, I'm trying to get a good... Oh, no, they do look like it. A little bit of their face. Pretty much star nose mole. Oh, they were supposedly very stupid. Really? Wow. The dodos. Do you know what? They got that accurate in Ice Age. Because they actually made the dodos really stupid. Even the characters said that dumb dodos and all that. So, yeah. So they put a little bit of uh, truth in there. <laughs> a lot of pose that Laffy Set is doing. He looks so cool. Oh. Take a look at this. Well, they did get Clearly hunted to instruction. They were. Um, I think they were hunted for nice. food. There's no better victory than a safe return. That's what I've heard. The eggs or the birds. They were hunted for that wow. food. Bloody hell! Potato mayonnaise, Luna eclipses a stalwart crab shell and earned a hundred. Scout ship set. I know, I know. Right. Well, you can tell these ones are stupid, these dodos. Although, it's weird how this one's called a peacock. It is not a peacock. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, that must be a boss. I thought that was the, uh, the red... Is that... Oh, what do you call her? The, the word demons. Oh! She's moving away. Nope. No, on our watch, apparently. Oh my god, we're actually facing off a lizard. Oh god. It actually looks like a bearded dragon! No, just a big lizard demon. Is it friends of Dial? Is it friends of Dial? I don't think so. Well, it looks like a bearded dragon crossed with a frilled lizard, I would say. Um, a dragon. Oh, there you go! <laughs> uh, beast, level 29. I think we'll be fine. Ow, oh, why did I do that? There we go. Oh, no, he's mad. Oh, come on. Ow, no, that's not what I wanted. No, don't hit me with your tongue. Don't hit me with your tongue. Don't want to use the all out technique. I got hit by his bottom. Oh, 
that. Got it. God. No, I can't die. No. That was it. I was actually there then. I was going to swap. Damn it! It turned red. Oh, he's shy. No, he's no, not. He's, he's angry. angry. He's not it any further. It's building up strength. Be careful. Then we stopped it. Thank you, but I think I need more than first aid. Oh, what did I do? Um. Thank you. I think I have to. Thank you. No, you don't. <laughs> This is working. It's going towards me. It's going towards me. Dragon dies and strikes Y. Whoa! Annihilating crash! Oh. Oh, nice. Mystic Arts are oh, of a tire class and cost 4B and require. Oh, 4B now. Uh, combo of 8 or higher, but they also increase maximum B G by 1. Hmm. Hold our team with three or more souls. Alright. Oh, yeah. Uh, three or more souls. Yep. Bloody hell. So she's the same sort of Moloch as Bianfu? You're Grimoire, right? <sighs> We've yeah. been looking for you. We need your help. Yeah. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I wasn't kidding I when she sighs. Oh. Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you two. <laughs> Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Witch training? She was an upperclassman. Ah. Uh. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome, and we were hoping you could read it for us. Goodness, Good idea. Mandalu. You of all people joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. Uh, 
Hmm. They keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. Bien. Come on, Grim. Isn't there any way you can help us? Don't cry, it's Bianca. That's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe oh. you need some incentivizing. Do it. I'm serious. I bet you are. Yeah. <laughs> no, even that doesn't stop her. Your eyes tell me you're dangerous. Trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit. Yep. <laughs> and at my age, trouble is something I'd rather avoid. Hmm. How old are you? Ask me again and you'll get a firework in the tush. Okay, don't ask her that. Don't ask her that. Uh, my apologies. It appears we've wasted our time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <laughs> well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Hmm. Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. No. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Hey. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah. Aww. My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? Yeah. No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Ah. Here it is, ma'am. <laughs> you needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Never mind. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. There you go. <laughs> Ish. Let's see what we're looking at here. Hmm. The language of ancient Avarost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. Well, we're already at the beach. Well, isn't this comfortable yourself, enough? Young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. Oh. That works. Thank you. Fine. Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. First, we need to swap our items, our equipment. Oh. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. Oh, she's in the skits. you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amanoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. Oh. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal. You should sue for his use of your life. <laughs> you should sue him. From that shopkeeper. Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Uh. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You've got this whole somber all we thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute. Like You're going to be in trouble, Bianfu. How about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh, yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. Mounted? No, no! That's the part where you feel like you draw the line, bm Really? Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. Ah, oh, yes. That's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. <laughs> <laughs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, I mean... It 
just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. Yeah. You're saying I'm scarier than Oh, an God, Empyrean? Eleanor, you can't win this conversation. Not scarier, exactly. <laughs> just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. Hmm. Haria. Isn't that the village with that demon that Oscar and Teresa were talking about? I think it might be. We should remain. Gotta go against. Oh, let me just get these souls. I'm gonna go down to the red creature. There might be a save somewhere. Oh, that must be her. Oh, there's like four chests. Oh, I bet you there's a chess in here. Oh, okay, more. I can go back for that thing, but not until later. Oh, all right. <gasps> it's a harpy. Harpy go lucky. But we got a harpy, winged demi-human, and a fiend. <laughs> I actually didn't check the level. Holy crap, it's high! It's chasing me! It's chasing me! It's chasing me! Thank you. That guarding is really strong. Seems to guard a lot. That might be the problem. It seems like even distant attack is tricky to get down. But that move seems to really, really do it. Right, I might be able to get this thing down. I must be right, it's go lucky. It can't really take much damage from it. Right, avoided it. Oh, it gone. It was Eleanor. I just realised. Let's see. Got it. I refuse to 
hell here. Yeah, that's how I felt then. <gasps> Bloody hell, look how much health I had left. Provides the ability to trigger a random skill which decreases final damage. Ah, and I forgot to finish the rest of that. <laughs> Oh, we're nearly level 30. <gasps> oh, chest. Oh, there we go. Ah, nice. Oh, oh. Oh, I'll be able to squeeze through that way. Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Yikes. Oh, thank God for that. That's Haria Village. To the inn. One and all. All right. Oh, is one of them a plant? Oh, it is. Yeah, I think it was chamomile. Roku, that's the next one. Just trying to think where well, on the map is this? I don't know. From what we heard in Isalt, demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. Mm. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone yeah. who can see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that, no, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, Aww. I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Oh, that's good yes, to hear. Yes, like you. Ah, awfully direct. Yeah, that was a bit. And exercise for one day. <laughs> Don't know how we get through that bit. Right, there's four chests here.
Oh. Wanna have a good look around. How do you there must be a way? I'll steal this. I wonder how I get down. Ah, there you go. all these fruit flavor gels right um, um so i made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island it gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste but people complain that they weren't avant-garde enough Ugh, chocolate flavored gels how prosaic bah this <laughs> got me fuming so i caught some maiden bonita fish you find around here ground them up and made some gels with them oh you put fish into chocolate gels? Well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Really? Exactly! It was the discovery of a century. The bonito flakes crunchiness and the gels gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which made it interesting. So right. if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? Yeah. That's exactly my problem. I outdid myself. Now I need to make my Gels world debut as amazing as they are. So I thought up the ultimate plan. And that is? That I'll is... put my Chocanito Gels in toilets all over the what? world. What? I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. No one will go to the bathroom without finding my Gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. But I think it's funny too, right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. He's a kid. <laughs> but all the adults a kid. in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my choco needle gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? Yeah, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah, oh, really. Man, <laughs> things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was go, 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 go. And everyone <laughs> would smile and praise me. I don't want to become the kind of grown up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Oh, that was a very random <laughs> conversation. Alright. Got that. Don't have that, and I don't have that. Oh! Damn it. I did find a lot of beast fangs. Let's see. Let's see. I think I've got a lot of things. Because a lot of them have mastered now. Oh. So those two things need to... <coughs> Sorry. Those things need to sell. That's not what I meant to do.
All right, the boots. I've got a lot of flawed boots. Bloody hell. That's it. Trying to see what they're so pricey. Yeah, I definitely gonna have to. Right. Oh, expedition has returned. Take a look at this. Quitting is the same as defeat. There we go, now yes. we've got perfect. There's no better <laughs> victory than a safe return. I knew this would be Ooh. big. What a treasure! So we've got the portrait of the three guardians. A will of Saint Glass obtained on the Canano Island, also known as the Island of Three Seasons. Glass emits a subtle soothing light. Oh fortune telling trickery. And we got the Norman Island! New attachment discovered, a swordsman eye patch. Nice. Norman is level six. Scout ship settings. Nice. Right. So. Wow. We got quite a few. So we got that. Oh, and that. And that. Right. Oh, it's not in strength order. Let me see. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Not sure what the lock and unlock does, but oh well. Um, I'll start with the weaker one first. I I'll start with the float blade, and then I go for after ball flip blade flayed. <laughs> All right, and the float boots. We need more boots. <laughs> Right. I'm only putting the battle boots on just to get another skill. Mm. There you go. Oh, that one's actually really close. Right, so that one increases a lot, but this one will take ages to skill. We'll go with that. As for the waistcoat, As well, and that's it. I might as well sell the remaining stuff. Just 
Does he have... I think the reason why I can't sell them is because they're special. Forge by Forgame. So that's why I can't sell them. Bear that. There you go. Oh, waistcoat done. And calcite waistcoat. Let's see. So, still not a lot, but it will do. Alright. Alright, everybody. That's it for today. So, next time on Tales of Bazaria. Um, pretty much carrying on with the story. <laughs> I'm thinking though, if I have time, I might do a bit of grinding. Not grinding for the levels, pretty much grinding for the money. So I'll see if I have spare time to do that because I feel like right now I do need to get some brand new items because majority of my characters have got mastered stuff I'm not sure there's anything I can do with boots but I'm gonna have to see because I've all pretty much mastered the boots the only things are less are the battle boots and that's it so just gonna have to wait and see with that but next time that'll be next time I'll be um streaming for myself will be the community stream on Saturday now the community stream on Saturday is actually going to be my last one because it's... Uh, sorry, to make that clear, it'll be the last one for this month because all the other Saturdays I'm extremely busy. Um, so I'm unable to attend all the rest of the community streams. So this one will be my last one for about three weeks. I'll still be... I will be back with streaming with the community stream, but probably not until December now. Um, but I'll be joining Sig Stream tomorrow with Fortnite Fridays. So uh, me, him, and others like Bunny will be pretty much getting together and streaming Fortnite, which will be excellent. So check out Sig Stream once he posts that up. Thank you, Tiger. You have a very nice night, too. And Sigmuth has posted the Discord. So if you guys like to join our Discord, um, Avalon, there's a link right there. And you can join us and have a nice chat and play games. And yeah, we'll all have a great time. So I'll see you all, guys, for next time. And I hope everyone has a lovely evening. And take care. Goodbye.